What's up guys, Richard Rodriguez, your Central Florida real estate professional. I'm currently in Winter Park, Florida, taking a look at this beautiful new construction home right behind me. I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like inside. Let's go ahead and get started. Really nice big windows there in the front. Got that modern tip there on the roof. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. The home itself is made up of four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And as you see to my right, it does have a two car garage. I love the way they furnish this place. It really gives you a good idea of how much space you have to work with. Really nice glass entrance door here. I love when the front doors are glass because it gives automatically an extra bit of light to come into the property. And then right before the steps, you have this almost floor to ceiling picture window here as well. You can take a look at the neighbors, a lot of natural light here. But as soon as you come into the property, it's very warm. We're gonna get started with the first level. It is a two-story home. Before entering the living space, you have the half bathroom, as I mentioned earlier. So good for a guest. And then directly across, you have an additional storage space here, right under the steps. Here's that entrance from the living room point of view. This beautiful open concept. I mean, the property has a little bit over 2,300 square feet. Really nice glass sliding doors. The living room is more than enough space for any type of furniture you'd probably put in here. And then you have that dining room, recessed lights throughout the home. I could probably turn off all the lights in here and it'll still be very bright. But I really like the fixtures that the builder went with. Again, some more picture windows. Really cool design here. The kitchen itself, beautifully designed. Currently they have about three stools, but you can probably fit another two easily on this island. So you guys can see that backsplash there. More than enough cabinets, you have an electric stove, stainless steel appliances. They went with Samsung for the appliances, so Samsung is always a good option. Have the dishwasher directly on the island here. So you guys can see that dishwasher there. And then a very, very expansive and really nice space here for the pantry. I mean, you have more than enough shelving. I have a walk-in pantry here. I hope you guys can get a feel for just how big this room here is. A lot of shelving there, so more than enough space for the pantry. This is a bigger home, as I mentioned, over 2,300 square feet. So this is technically for bigger families, right? or a family that's working on building a big family, but there's a lot of space here. That's where the fridge would go. They don't currently have one inside here, but that would be where the fridge would be placed. You have the hookups there on the wall, and then you have, let me turn this light on. Oh, wrong switch. Here is just like a cubby area, mud room, right before the garage. So I'll take a quick look at the garage here so you guys can see. Nothing too fancy here, but so you guys can see, there is a little bit of material here on the floor, but here's your water heater, your electrical panel, and that's pretty much it for the garage. You do have clickers that come with this garage door, so you can automatically open as soon as you walk in or drive in, but that's it for this garage. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the home. I really like the floor that they went with. It's like a light gray wood plank tile. Very common here in Florida. Keep the home nice and cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bedrooms. And you have this modern, nice handrail there. Always nice to have. The first floor is very spacious, but I can only imagine that the second floor is gonna be the same. They have it set up here as a desk as soon as you walk up to the second level. I think that's really cool there, very convenient. And then you have another picture window there. You can block it off because it does overlook your neighbors, but again, a lot more natural light to come in. So you can take a look and see the bedrooms are all gonna be close to each other. However, this closet here, so you guys can see just another coat closet towel closet there, but you're gonna have all your important rooms here on the second level. Directly to the right of the stairs, you're gonna have your laundry room. So I'm technically in the laundry room already. It's a very big laundry space. 
I don't know about you guys, but I love when the laundry room is right next to the bedrooms. I feel like it makes everything easier. You can just drop the clothes off there and head on your way. And then the master is actually gonna be separate from all the other bedrooms. As I mentioned, it is furnished. So you're gonna get a really good feel just exactly how the layout plays out. That's a king bed there in between the two windows. Again, beautiful natural light coming into this one. More than enough space here in this master bedroom. And then you have the master bathroom. They went with a nice marble style finish here. Really nice tub and standing shower. More and more builders are going towards giving the buyer two options, not just a standard shower, not just a tub, but giving the buyer two options. Then you have here your toilet room and really nice double sink vanity there. They went with like a cool gray for the cabinets up here. I think it gives a really nice touch to the bathroom. They kept it very simple, very clean, but that's your master bathroom there. And then really big extended closet here. Nice cabinets and storage spaces throughout. As you can see, more than enough room here. You have some drawers that you can work with there. I'm gonna walk towards the back of that closet so you guys can get a really good idea just how big this space is. More than enough room for two people to put their clothes. I'm a big fan of this master bedroom here. And then the other three bedrooms, because it is a four bedroom house, are gonna be on this left side of the staircase. So you have bedroom two here, very nice standard closet. Just to give you guys a quick look of how big this bedroom is. Again, really nice size here on the second floor for a guest bedroom. Directly across, you're gonna have bedroom three. This one has a window looking at the backyard. So you can get a look here, very nice view. Again, the light is on here, but it's super bright. Hopefully you guys can see closet there. And then other two bedrooms are going to be directly to the left. Here is bedroom four. So as you can see, also overlooking the backyard. All the bedrooms are pretty much similar in terms of square footage. But again, there's definitely more than enough space in all the bedrooms for all the guests or kids. And then you'll have full bathroom number two. This would be the bathroom the other three bedrooms use outside of the primary. However, they went with a different tile here. This one does have a tub. Very nice picture window there. You can overlook the backyard as well. And then here is your big mirror and your sink. Very standard there. Similar color with the cabinet on that cool gray. But that's pretty much it for the bedrooms. Do you guys like having this amount of bedrooms on the second floor? Do you guys prefer having the primary on the first floor? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I wanna go ahead and show you guys the backyard. Overall, I think this home is really, really nicely put together. I think the builder was very smart by using this lot to build this size home, just because you have a lot of great schools around, great places to eat, grab drinks, and this backyard here, you have a covered lanai, just so you guys can see the backyard space there. There is a little bit of a hill, as this property does have septic, so that you guys can see here this backyard, but more than enough space. It is a 0.13 acre lot, fully fenced. Here is the back side of the home. Sun is directly facing this backyard here, but just so you guys can see the back side of the home. And this home's currently on the market just for $800,000. So that's it for this home here in Winter Park, Florida. Let me know what you thought about the home. Did you like the kitchen, the backyard, the upstairs? I always enjoy seeing your guys' comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time.